been here for almost 100 years. My great grandfather bought the Wanaka station in 1912. And uh, so we're fourth, just going on fifth generation on the farm now. Ripon's a uh, 15 hectare vineyard that's um, situated on the north facing escarpments of uh, what we're sitting on here, the terminal moraine or the terminus of the ancient glacier. And the craft of wine growing is, is more about um, taking a piece of land and trying to understand it and understand its potential and how it, how it might, might express itself and, and try and deliver that um, piece, that voice of the land or that expression of the land through the vine into the, its fruit and then through a fermentation process into a product that we can then taste and feel and, and appreciate as a, as a product of a certain place. I guess we get out here every morning and uh, do a bit of hard yakka, do a bit of hand hoeing. Having to do this every morning sort of means that every one of the team or the whole team are pretty much one to one on the soil every morning. It's just a nice way of seeing you know what, what's going on down there and what needs to be done and what's living down there, what's not living down there. Moisture content, as soon as are getting stressed or not. Well, that's stuff that you know you can do with monitors and computers and stuff, but it's nice actually physically doing it and understanding it yourself and seeing it. So this is the next step in the Ripon story. It's uh, a building that we've been thinking about, the family's been thinking about for 30 years and uh, been built over the last year. It's all made out of earth from the property and uh, from timber from the property as well. Um, which is pretty important really. We've, if we've created a wine or a product that's very receptive to its surroundings then it's essential to wrap that wine in its own surroundings. It, it is you know, hugely rewarding when you, when you can pull out one of those bottles you know, 10, 15 years down the track and, and, and understand it and see that um, it was a reflection of the place, the environment of, of Wanaka, um, of the season. In the, in the year that, that was, and also the people that were on the land at that time. Yeah, obviously we feel very fortunate that we sort of have this time as custodians of, of this very special piece of land and, and uh, are able to be part of this, this very special community. And we're um, you know, just trying to create ways of being able to do that without having a, too much of an impact on the land and trying to leave it in a, in a better place than from when we found it. And so then the next generations can look after it as well. And, and I mean that for our family, but I mean that for the rest of Monica as well. I think uh, everyone in Monica, you know, came here and um, just like my great grandfather for the same reason, for, its, for the place's beauty and, its, um, and just the energy that it has. And, and, uh, and when you come here, you understand that straight away. It's funny, when I, came, when I came home from Europe after being in this very special place and this very special culture, uh, the first week home, it was, you know, asking my family on a daily basis, I mean, do you see that? I mean, can you actually see that? Because it's there, you know, it's, you just feel it, you, you understand it, it's, it's, um, it's epic.